Yeah, ho what is going on guys stiff and we're back on the Madden 16 tournament gameplay before we get into this tournament Just want to let you guys know for a week. We are going to be giving away a free copy of our New Orleans offensive ebook um, Which contains 13 formations and 30 HD videos So all you have to do is retweet and follow us on Twitter at Madden daily go follow us on Twitter It's pin tweet and I'll also leave the link to this tweet in the description so you guys could retweet that we are going to be picking the winner at halftime on the next Sunday night game so anyway here we go we got a tournament gameplay on gamer saloon against no other than serious mo this is ten thousand dollar tournament this is like round three I will be showcasing all the rounds if we so happen to surpass there's four separate tournaments that are going to be going on one in February one in January one in December and this is the November one so we got this one we're all the way in round three we're going up against serious mo now if you guys don't know who serious mo is he's a definitely a very tough competitor has been winning tournaments left and right as we make a dumb read right there he ends up getting the interception on the first play but he's a very good player he won atlantic city he won new jersey once this year won a bunch of tournaments last year he's definitely the man to be in the community right now in person in um those uh, uh ranked games that we definitely play offline in those tournaments definitely going to be a tough competitor i'm pretty chill with the guy uh, I do know him. I do talk to him. I like talking to the guy. Very down-to-earth person right there. We end up getting a sack. So this is definitely going to be a huge game for us. Let's see if we can lock down. We're running um, a custom book because you're allowed to do that in tournaments on Gamer Sling. You're allowed to run custom playbooks. That's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be running a little bit of com combination of my own e uh, offensive ebook that I'm creating myself and also a combination of the New Orleans Saints ebook that was just dropped. Now, this game is definitely intense insane more of a defensive battle than anything uh we're both locking each other up you'll see that as time comes fourth and five we throw a super dot no we do not ends up getting the deflection turnover on downs we're getting caged in the beginning of the game we need to see what he's running we we're not really used to running ranked games but that's not um that should not be an issue that's not a good excuse uh we're definitely gonna have to try and adapt as you can see on a third and 18 he tots us right up on the playmaker definitely good play on and a fourth and three we get the stop exactly what we needed so like i was saying it's definitely more of a defensive battle in this gameplay than offensive we make some poor reads both of us i'm still trying to get the use uh the hang of the new orleans ebook which we which i'm just practicing right now uh so i don't really have it down pat and then I got to go up against serious Mo. so i mean it's definitely a great ebook right here we have a on the lob but he's just sending so much pressure and it's just a lot of a lot of stuff to handle on fourth and 18 we really got to go for it just because it's serious Mo. we really cannot uh gamble that much i know maybe a punt would have helped because it's such a defensive battle but we just decided to go for it we end up getting this he ends up getting the sack but look at this defense right here we oh my god it's a bad bad read on Sirius's mo part but we do not capitalize on it and right there that's a good read he gets he probably uh, threw that up high definitely got a great animation on a fourth and inches he does the toss to the right and ends up getting in with marshawn lynch he actually gets to a one yard line because he wants me to chew up some clock he wants to chew up some clock maybe chew up a couple of my timeouts he ends up getting in on the next play not looking good for me and he gets ball at half. It's 10 nothing. We need to try and do something right before half. We end up playmaking during curse. End up getting a huge game. We're shaking our baking our way up to the 50 yard line. Definitely a little bit different than Mutt. Can definitely tell you. And right here on a first and 10. Look at this read. <laughs> oh, dot. <laughs> <laughs> not really uh, Earl Thomas was just just didn't react to the game just didn't react to the throw I did hold the left bumper so I did throw it high maybe that's why he didn't react to it but maybe it's because he's 5'10 maybe it's because it's Madden not really sure wasn't really the best read but it was only the, the it was practically the only read that I had right there boom we end up nailing them right on the kickoff we get the ball back and now we're in business we're already in field goal range now back to that play guys i know what he's doing he's running two man under cover two man out of dime and he's putting his safeties in blues or purples one of those that's exactly what he's doing and we got some we got some stuff for that we got some stuff for that but i didn't realize he was doing that until later on in the game so it kind of hurts me now knowing the information that i knew now i would have been able to dot it up maybe uh, but 
back in this game, I was having some trouble. Right here, he actually trips over the ghost. I don't know what the hell he tripped over. And he ended up getting the sack right here on a second and 15. Can you say, give me that? This dime coverage, this man coverage has got him in a box right now. It's got both of us in a box. He ends up throwing that ball off his back foot. That's a Russell Wilson throw right there. And we end up getting the INT. And we're in business right here. We make a great read with Baldwin. We had him on the slant. He uh, tackled the air. He was probably pressing buttons right before the snap. He ended up diving with his uh, CPU users or his users. And right here, look at this super dot. See, just like when I said, I noticed that he was putting those guys in blues right now in the third quarter. So we definitely had a man beater over the top of the coverage. Normally, if he wasn't in a light blue, that safety or that strong safety was in his deep blue. We wouldn't, that would not have been a touchdown, but we know what he's doing. We, we, we're on, we're honing in, and we're actually locking him up. Look at this, third and 10, throwing the ball away. It's fourth down. We just have him in a complete box right now with this man coverage. It's hard. He went to uh, his pistol, his pistol shoddy or pist pistol bunch out of in Cowboys. I know we went to that, and that is definitely a man beater, but he went to it late. He went to that real late. Don't know why it took him so long to get into that because that's definitely a man beater and we take over on downs again. So now look at this third and 16. We have a wide open. We just didn't see it. But third and 16, we lob it up the curse. We come down with it, but it's an incomplete pass. We catch it out of bounds and we have to settle for three. Now let me know. Do you guys like me posting ranked gameplays? I know you guys wanted me to post more ranked. That's exactly what I want to do for you guys, but I want to do it in more of a tournament atmosphere like these money games that we're going. Right here, look at this play. We were trying to back off the safeties, and we left click the left analog stick, and we got we got caught on player lock. It ends up bombing us deep for a touchdown. The only points uh, that were scored in, in a while, he ends up bombing us deep, and we got caught on player lock. Definitely struggling right there, uh, but we have to respond. Uh, especially gets a good opponent like Mo. We end up we end up testing his users on that play. We end up getting a great gain right here. We're gonna uh, take it to the left side with Marshawn Lynch, and we're gonna get to the 20 yard line. Yard line. We're already in field goal range. We're in field goal range. All we need to do is just try and drain out some clock and kick the field goal because then he's gonna need a touchdown to, to win. Right here, he takes off our B read. That was the one read that we need. We have to throw it away. Not consuming one of his timeouts was definitely a awful decision on my part. And on third and ten, look, we have B wide open. We try to lob it right over the receivers, and Russell Wilson just throws an absolute duck that was supposed to be in the back left corner of the end zone. So we end up just taking our three, and we are up six. So a, a field goal does not do him any justice. He needs a touchdown to win the game. We're already locking up on first and ten. Second and ten, we actually get the sack. That fumble gets reversed. Uh, spoiler and on third and 12 we're trying to lock up right here he tries looking at the corner out but he dumps it down and we get a money shot with Richard Sherman it's gonna be fourth and two for the bread and we run our run defense and we get the stop we end up getting the stop and we take over on downs and that is going to be the game he ends up quitting out he doesn't want to waste anyone's time we move on to round four where we play scuba Jake from Atlantic City, that game will be posted maybe Wednesday or Thursday. If we get 250 likes, it will be posted Wednesday. If not, I'll post it Thursday. I want to see if you guys like these competitive ranked gameplays. I want to post more of you. But anyway, guys, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Adio.